My sense of the American people in general and my specific experience as a mayor is that I think people are kind of, I think we're tired of being stuck in the same boxes we've been in. This impending feeling that some of the problems that have been with us for 50, 60, longer number of years are so intractable. I think people want to break out. And the problem is that not the high-level concept, but to, to, to Julian's point, when you start getting into the practical elements of how you break out of the box and actually start to solve these problems, it becomes a great challenge. One of the things that my favorite things about uh, Julian was is, as a mayor, he was able to convince his community to invest in pre-K. Uh, he, he did one of, one of the most sweeping uh, efforts towards pre-K education I think any mayor's done. That's a big deal. Um, but it takes a lot of a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat to get those conversations going. In my case, I was trying to use infrastructure to solve some of these problems and a lot of what I heard back was, oh, you want to put this streetcar to nowhere or, <laughs> or what have you. And, 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 you know, the thing that I would remind people is that in 1971, I was born in a neighborhood that was, that was basically surrounded by freeways. And my neighborhood, 10 years before, had multiple ways in and out. By the time I came along, there was only one way in and out. And the horizon was something I couldn't see because of the physical barriers of our highways. So uh, the infrastructure I was trying to build was infrastructure that had it been there when I was growing up, maybe there would have been a pharmacy in my neighborhood. Maybe there would have been a doctor's office in my neighborhood. Maybe there would have been a grocery store in my neighborhood. But I didn't have those things. And so I think we have to, in order for us to solve some of these ultimate questions we have about opportunity, we have to do things differently. And I think it's the doing part that gets challenging at the local level. And so I think the powerful thing about the president's focus on this is that when the federal government says, what are your ideas to solve this problem in your backyard, there's a sense that the federal government's actually going to do something to help. And when we do choice neighborhoods or when we do the ladder step program or ladders of opportunity work, communities start to get a sense that they can actually solve these problems. And seeing it happen in community after community gives you a lot of hope for the future.